You just bought Ableton Live and you're super excited to create your first song. Use your all your favorite AU VST plugins in Live. So you open Live for the first time, click Live's browser and go to plugins and nothing's there. What do you do? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable your plugins and have Ableton Live scan to find all your plugins on your computer. So let's get started. First thing you wanna do is go to Live's preferences. If you're on a Mac, that's gonna be command comma. If you're on a PC, it's going to be control comma. Now you wanna to go to the plugins tab of preferences. And what we wanna do is tell Ableton Live what types of plugins we're gonna use. So if I'm on a Mac, uh, I have the option to use audio units as well as VST2s uh, or VST3 plugins. Um, and if you're not using any VST2 plugins or audio units and say for instance, all are using VST3 plugins, then you don't have to mess with any of those. In my case, I'm gonna use audio units. So I'm gonna go here and click on, and that's gonna enable all the audio units on my computer. Uh, you see uh, instantly they show up in plugins here. Now let's say I wanna use VST2 plugins. Now if I have those installed in the built-in system folder, they're on my internal drive, uh, they're where their uh, you know, kind of default place and location is, then I'm going to enable this option for system folders. If I'm using this in a custom folder, uh, I've gone here to VST2 uh, plugin custom folder. I hit browse, click the location, and I'm using custom folder, then I'm going to enable that there. Same thing for VST3 plugins. If I'm using system folders, enable this. If I'm using custom folders that I've uh, defined here by clicking browse, then I would enable that. Let me show you what happens if I click VST2 plugin system folders, because that's where uh, all my VST2 plugins are, just the default folders. I'm gonna click this and you'll notice it kind of feels like live is frozen, but what's happening down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see that it's scanning every single plugin in the VST2 system folder to find that, to make sure it works, uh, so that it can add that to live's uh, finder, uh, live's browser, so that I have access to it. So now, as soon as I do that, if I go over here, now you see under plugins, I have VSTs listed. I have my audio units listed. Now, what happens if you don't see a plugin uh, in that list? Uh, you add a new plugin um, and you don't see it show up in Ableton Live. A useful tip, a useful utility is to go back to preferences, command comma, or control comma if you're on a Windows machine, go to plugins and go to rescan plugins. And when you click that, that's gonna rescan plugins on your computer. Um, and it's gonna see, hey, did did you buy a new plugin? Did they add a new plugin into Ableton Live? Um, and when they do that, uh, uh, when Ableton scans it, it's hopefully going to find your plugin and you'll have access to create your first song in Live or a new song very, very quickly. Now, if you're brand new to using Ableton Live, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to this channel, particularly if you wanna to learn to use Ableton live to perform on stage. That's what we talk about here on From Studio to Stage. And I post a brand new tutorial every single day, 10 a.m. Central. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then hit the subscribe button and do me a favor, hit the bell icon so you're notified when I uh, post new content every single day. And you can just look at your phone. You get a notification. If it sounds interesting to you, then click through and watch it. You can join in the chat uh, during the premiere. And if not, then ignore it. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central and hopefully the day after that. Take care, everybody.